In the studio, I welcome back JR. Happy, happy, happy New Year, Papa. You know, like, oh, you're saying, <laughs> now I want to say next week, <laughs> You've been in the game for over a decade now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you've, you've seen it all, man. I've seen you transform. I've seen you win shows. I see you put on kids. Let's yeah. just talk about that journey. For someone who's been like, hey, JR, guy. Okay. I mean, it's been an exciting journey. I mean, yeah. you know, I just felt the need to kind of like, get into a space where I can diversify and kind of like build new things. So, because I get bored quickly. So I'll do like, if I make hip hop and then I'll get bored, then I want to add some R&B element, then I get bored, then I want to add some live, you know, it's just the kind of thing. So lucky enough for me, I can, you know, afford to make those mistakes and right. learn from them and I can afford to make successes of the ventures. So it's kind of like I've been blessed in that regard, you know? Now the thing about being, uh, being able to cross over is one thing and you mm -hmm. did it well, right? But to go from genre to genre, what gives you the confidence like, I got this R&B thing, I grew up on it, so I yeah. can definitely finesse it. Like, even when it comes to collaborating with artists, yeah. how do you get them to do different stuff? I mean, you know, I went to school, like, yeah. for music, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, I went to school and I studied and I was doing extra curricular activities, like, you know, when it came to music. So, it's something that I know well, you know, and my team is very well trained as well, you know, with the cousins as well. We've got mm. Shivo, who's our drummer, mm. you know, he went to Berkeley in, mm. in the States. So, when it comes to that, we have confidence in what we can deliver because we analyze it. Like, it's like a scientist. Like, how do you, mm. you know, you, you analyze your formulas and everything. So, we analyze like that and we see where I can say and what race I can sing in, where I can't sing, what I can reach, what I can't. Right. And we try and, you know, mold everything around that. So that's where the confidence comes from. It's like trying new things and being, you know, able to like know where your limits lie. Speaking of JR and the yeah. cousins, sound is very nostalgic yeah. as well as yeah. soulful. Amazing. As, as, hey, wait again. Yeah. <laughs> Which is essentially what it's all about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell, me, tell me how that came about and how long did you uh, take to record the project and how did you guys, uh, I mean, apart from mentioning that you've known uh, your drummer since he was like a teenager, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, yeah. How did the concept come to be? I mean, first of all, the cousins are my band, you know, and they're made of like different collectives. So it's made of like Elder Soul, Shivo, uh, Zadok, you know, so it's, it's all like a collective of musicians that I know that have played and play with me for live shows. Mm. So I decided to say, look, man, I want to make an album and who better to make an album with than the guys who actually play it when the show's happening. Right. You know what I mean? You right. want to make an album with the guys who actually play it live. Uh -huh. So I was like, okay, no, let's make an album with the cousins. And um, we decided to call it JR and the Cousins as a collaborative album. Again, it was celebrating 10 years. And one of my biggest achievements is the ability to always help new artists. That's what and I'm was saying like, about that. You don't have yeah, a lot of time, yeah. bro. Your main reason for putting on the kids in the game or allowing new talent to just be on JR level in the yeah. future. Like, what inspires that? What drives I just that? Wanna, I, like, I just want people to carry on. I, actually, for me, it's a legacy thing. So I want, like, I don't want to tell my own story. Mm. I want you to tell it for me, you know? Legacy, and, legacy. Yeah, I want you to go 10 years, 20 years from now and tell my story for me. And I want you to see you achieve greatness. And that's how I try and help these young guys. We got a young kid right now under management as well. We try and help these young guys to be able to achieve something. It's just, it's just in me, man. I just want to help. It's about the babies at the end of the day. I'm getting goosebumps hearing JR talk about that. Uh -huh.